Hello again. Uh, okay, in this video I'll talk a little bit about my RF transceiver and the adapter I made. So here is the adapter that I made um, for the UART to USB uh, or USB to TTL bridge. So this is the adapter f between the uh, USB to TTL and the RF transceiver which is from Shiro Electronics. This one uses UART communication also. So for the USB part, uh, USB detail, I just plug this in on the left side. And if you notice, uh, in the middle is um, I have a uh, a jumper that I can uh, switch between 3.3 uh, volts and uh, 5 volts, uh, so that my RF transceiver can uh, select. Basically, it selects the range of the RF transceiver. So whenever I want to uh, uh, increase the uh, range or the power output, uh, the transmitted power of this transceiver, I'll just switch to the 5 volts. But right now I'm just using 3.3. So, yeah, so to hook it up here, and then I'll plug to my uh, COM port here, USB, and my computer recognized that. I can also, you know, turn this antenna to a different location so that it's more convenient for me so, okay so um, then I have my uh, COM port open up I can pick my COM port to be COM so this would be COM7 uh, then pick the ball rate alright now it's ready for transmission but I need to hook up on the, this end, which is my uh, development board with the relay shield. So I'm just going to plug this in like that. And it's looking really good. Like, okay. Um, yep. This is really neat. Uh, okay, so right now I don't really have the program, but I can show you that whenever I send a message from my computer that the LED will change state. So let's turn this on. So this uh, LED indicates the receive signal. All right. So over here, I'm just going to enter a message, something random like this. So I just see it blink when I press enter. I'm going to press enter over here, and it should be blinking. You see that? It's very hard to see, but you see it's very fast. Hmm. I can see with um, my eyes, but with this camera, it's not picking up the subtle uh, change. It's, it's blinking. I'm seeing it right now, but on the camera, it's not showing up very good. Oh, yeah, there you go. You see that? Well, this LED indicates the transmitted signal, but I don't have a program running right now. But basically, uh, this board allows me to talk to back to my PC, and then I can my PC can control these relays here to control some kind of motors or whatever. But oh yeah, and the last thing I want to mention, I have a very difficult time uh, with soldering the, these uh, MOSFET transistor. It's a 2N7000 transistor. Uh, basically, the, uh, just be careful whenever you try to solder this type of transistor. They have, they do have a thermal resistant uh, threshold of 300 degrees Celsius. So, w if you solder too close to this, uh, to this, this chip right here on top, the black part, that will damage the chip. So I decided to move this up a little more. It doesn't look as good, but it doesn't. Um, risk damaging this when I solder uh, this component on. Uh, notice that this is the only one that actually got to work. So uh, that's why it's lower. And the other one didn't work so I had to replace them all. It cost, I mean, it took a lot of time to replace these and figure out why it, it was like that. But man, uh, so it's, it's, I don't have a, a good soldering iron with a temperature readout, so that was a difficult thing that to go through. 
but that's uh, that's another reason why you need a really good soldering iron with a temperature control uh, iron. All right, so th I'll end this tutorial for this um, this <laughs> this video uh, now. But later on, I'll write another program that I can. Com uh, I'll show you guys how to communicate between this thing and uh, uh, my computer. Uh, yeah, we can write a visual visual uh, C sharp program for the user and also. Thanks for watching. See you next time.